Speaker. I call the Honourable Member Chris Ockenvold. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Freedom campers have an important place in New Zealand's tourist industry. They are very important to us. Both international tourists and New Zealand domestic tourists enjoy, quite rightly, the freedom to park their vehicles at no cost and to enjoy our beautiful environment responsibly. For the most part, freedom campers in New Zealand are responsible about where they camp and they're to be encouraged in this endeavour. They take notice of signs which prohibit them from certain areas and they're responsible with their waste. But, Mr Speaker, ever since I've had the privilege of serving as an MP, I've had people from all over the electorate, particularly in Tasman, tell me of their very serious concerns about irresponsible campers who ignore the signs, park their vehicles in areas with no facilities, have no facilities in their vehicles, and they leave their litter and human waste behind. Mr Speaker, in fact, some of the anecdotal evidence I've had from local constituents has been not only disturbing, but has quite frequently been disgusting to hear. We all know that this shouldn't go on. Local councils just haven't had the tools to deal with the problem until now. Neither have communities that have concerns. In addition, in addition different approaches by different councils have made it difficult for freedom campers to actually know where they can and cannot park up for the night. This bill, this bill deals with the problems I've outlined. It provides better information from, for freedom campers and effective enforcement powers to councils. It enables councils to determine where camping is and is not allowed, where it's restricted to camper vans with self-containment and where it's prohibited. Nationally consistent signage and enforcement will make things clear for everyone involved. Quite frankly, this is long overdue. Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. Mr. Speaker. I call the Honourable...